the worrying was the worst part because you don't know. Leon, two families looking for what to do next as they empty out their homes destroyed by devastating flooding. Well, FEMA has been in Oklahoma since the beginning of the month to help them out, meeting with families affected by the floods and storms. Two Works for You's Christy Maria spent the day with FEMA. Here's his story. They were all just one right after the other. I mean, great people. Cynthia Armstrong has lived in her Bixby home for 12 years. She says she could never imagine the picture she saw from a week of flooding or what she came home to. Three feet of water damage. It's just overwhelming, just scary. It was kind of traumatic. Belongings in her home and in her barn left floating. But just days after she returned to her rural plot of land, help came knocking at her door. One of them was to do with the disaster assistance. FEMA registered Cynthia and her family and days later sent an inspector to survey the damage. She says they're working to provide a grant or loan to cover what insurance can't. The inspector helping in that process. It's nice to, you know, when total strangers come to your house to check on you, it makes you feel a little better. <laughs> Tom Stidden is Cynthia's neighbor, and while he didn't have nearly as much water damage to his property, he got the same attention from FEMA as all their neighbors. And they're literally going door to door to let people know that we're here, how they can register with FEMA, and to collect any information of needs that they may have. FEMA's disaster survivor assistance team was in Broken Arrow today. Local emergency management tells them different areas of concern, and they knock on doors to see who in that area needs their help. After a victim registers, much like in Cynthia's case, FEMA will send out an inspector to see how much FEMA will need to cover. And that was Christy Maria reporting. FEMA also warns victims about fraud. They say never pay or give bank information to anyone claiming to be disaster relief.